Hello everybody and welcome back. The last time we uh, mentioned the rule of getting the derivative of a composite function with two functions multiplied by each other so that we mentioned f. We have fx which equals hx dx the f dash x equals h dash x dx positive g dash x h x so this is for two brackets only or two functions what if we have three functions three functions yes it may be like this h i x so these are three functions it's not complex at all it's very easy the same way we did the last time we will do how is it's like this we have f dash x equals y the last time we put the first derivative and then we put the rest in the normal then we took the derivative of the second function and put the first in the normal we will make the same way so here we will put the h dash x and put the, re the rest of them in the normal dx ix then we will take the derivative of the second one and put the rest in the normal so g dash x and h x i x I put the dash in the first to be apparent for you here which one is the derivative then make another plus and put the third in the derivative i dash x then h x dx so it's that simple you only put one in the derivative and drop them uh, drop the rest in the normal way we'll have an example to illustrate this so we'll keep the rule if we have a, um, a function which is uh, 2x squared plus 2 and uh, 3x cubed plus 2x squared and here we have x cubed plus 1 what shall we do then? and we want to get a derivative it's very easy this is hx dx ix anything just deal with the first bracket and drop the others as they are the same so the f dash x equals the derivative here we drop the 2 down to get a 4 and here 2 minus 1 gives a 1 x to the power 1 and the 2 gives us a 0 and we draw the rest 3x to the power 3 plus 2x to the power 2 uh, x to the power 2 plus 1 then add a plus the next step we move to the next bracket and we get the derivative of this one we drop the 3 downward to get 3 by 3 to get a 9 and 3 minus 1 gives a 2 9 x to the power 2 plus 2 by 2 gives a 4 and here we have an x 2 negative 1 gives a 1 to yield an x and then we draw the rest as the same they are 2x to the power 2 plus 2 and x power 2 plus 1 plus so we have three three factors or three items in our problem there is a 1 2 and the third here they are the same number of the brackets that we have in our problem the third one is x to the power 2 plus 1 we get the derivative of this 2x we draw the 2 down words and subtract 2 minus 1 to get an x and we draw the rest like this plus 2x square 
and this is our derivative. You may you know, introduce the 4x into one bracket of these, uh, the 2x into uh, one bracket of these also, and you may not, but you got the derivative. It seemed long, but it's very, very easy. Just take one bracket and leave the others. Take the next and leave the others. Take the last and uh, leave the others. And if you have four brackets, you work with the same way, five brackets, anything. And uh, this is the uh, how to get the derivative of a composite function. I hope it was easy and clear. And that's it for today and see you